afternoon. I just got off work, so I got in my comfy clothes. I do have some makeup on. I do have unusually red lipstick that I did not wear when I taught second grade today. But tomorrow when I go to do the Glenn Levitt uh, promotion, they want me to wear red lipstick. So I'm not going out to buy red lipstick. Uh, my daughter happened to have red lipstick. I don't usually wear a lot of makeup, but they request me for my makeup and hair to be a certain way and to dress a certain way. I mean, when I'm wearing all black, it's not too bad, but I like to just get into my comfortable clothes after working all day. I am making burritos tonight with some black beans and cheese, sour cream and tomatoes. We make tacos quite a bit here, but we don't really make burritos a lot. We make empanadas a lot, so that's what we're having tonight. I wish I could do a video of it, but soon everybody will be home. But I do have my other Halloween wine, because if you haven't checked out Full Moon, I did a video on that wine. Right now at Winey Lynch, you can get two bottles of wine, I believe, for $35, but I got it cheaper than that, just because I used to work there, and I'm a frequent customer. This is Broomstick Brew, and it's got the witch on it, so it's very nice. It's from the Tomasello Winery, T-O-M-A-S-E-L-L-O. Red wine with natural flavors, 12% volume, and I love the packaging for the Halloween. Serve warm, warm from your cauldron. I have had it cold at the Winey Winch, and I've had it room temperature, which I'm going to have at room temperature today, and also I'm going to have it in my crock pot. I've had that going for about 30 minutes. I did have it on high at first because I wasn't sure and then I put it on low. So I have not tried it that way. It's very interesting. And I was kind of a little taken back by this, and so was the girl that worked there. And she said she ended up liking it. So, it is Broomstick Brew. is a delightful blend of red wine and mulling spices served warm from your cauldron. Hot pot. The Wicked Concoction is perfect in front of a warm fire with baked brie, toasted almonds, and sugared apples. Delicious on Goblin's Night when a howling wind chills your soul. Broomstick brew warms your heart and embraces the special time of year. And it is uh, made in Ham Hamilton, New Jersey. And you can go to t-o-m-a-s-e-l-l-o-winery.com. R1-800-M-M-M Wine. Like I said um, before on my other video, they are having a special at Winey Winch, two for $35. I got them a little cheaper than that because I've worked there before and I'm a frequent customer. So I've had this open for a little bit. Oh, you can definitely smell the spices. And the funny thing is I tried to... <coughs> excuse me. I tried to look up the notes because I definitely can smell like cloves and apples and cinnamon but I'm not really sure if there's any other things in there and they really didn't go into it they suggested with brie cheese which can be expensive but I do like brie cheese I do want to pick up another bottle because there is this other wine that I would like to have in sample I'm not really I am <coughs> excuse me I am sampling a Casalero wine Saturday, and it's supposed to be for Halloween, but I don't know if they're just portraying it for Halloween, because I don't, I think I've seen that wine, and I don't remember it, very spicy this one, I don't remember it being a Halloween wine, I think it was just a red wine, then I'm doing kombucha tomorrow after I teach fifth grade, and then I'm doing Glen Levitt whiskey finally on Saturday afternoon, you'll have to watch my other videos, I was supposed to already have that, but the owner of the place liked it so much that he traded me a big Jameson bottle, which I've had almost three weeks. I had a rough week the first week, and I still have a little left. So, I always chit-chat, get you up on my channel, because I don't think I'm going to be back on this week until, like, next Tuesday, because I work double tomorrow, I work double Saturday, and then Sunday's a family day with my daughter. I wish it was with both my daughters, but anyways. And then Monday I teach kindergarten. So I may do it Monday, because today I taught second grade half a day, and I'm just so in the mood to have some wine. 
surprised that wine's not smelling. I don't have candles right now, so I was kind of hoping it smelling because it really has a nice smell. The taste is so unique. It's sweet, but it's not as sweet as a Moscato or a dessert wine. It would make a great dessert wine. I definitely taste the apples. It's very unique. And I only see it there during Halloween, but I think you can get it online anytime. Don't quote me on that. I think I am going to go back next week because I have to uh, get something at Victoria's Secrets anyways free that they gave me. And then I'm going to um, get one more of those and a different wine that I will review. But other than that, I have about 17 or 18 promos coming up, which range from Kabucho, which I won't do a video on that because I've already done it. Glen Leva Whiskey, which I will do. There's a couple different cognacs, which I will end up doing. A couple different wines, which I will end up doing. And, um, just in that busy season. Mm. It's also surprisingly good chilled. It's very good chilled. So now... I'm going to take a little bit. The thing that's kind of interesting is how I get this out of this crock pot. I usually cook in this. I think I might have even have done one video about cooking this. Huh. That's funny. This is going to be quite a chore to get this out of this crock pot. I thought about it once I poured it in there. I just poured like probably about a glass. I'm having a little tiny sip. not even warm yet. I mean, I kind of wondered why it was so warm on the outside. It's so strange because it reminds me of something and I cannot put my finger on it. It's a very familiar taste. Try to get some water. It's not really warm all the way yet. It kind of reminds me of a sangria, but there's something else I can't quite put my finger on. Either way, I'm going to turn this off and pour it in there. Either way, it's a very good wine. Um, I don't think I would want to drink it all the time. I'm going to need to get two followers. Just because it's not my normal go-to, but it is something unique and nice for the holidays. I could even see it being good with like Thanksgiving dinner. going to really wait on that because everyone's going to be like, and I was hoping it was going to make it, it smell because you can really smell the spices and cinnamon. So I was hoping it was going to make the house smell, but it's not really doing that. I guess because it's not a warmer. So let's see how warm it is now. I'm using my little teacup and soup cup. It is good warm. Almost that reminds you of an apple wine cider. It's a nice color. Mm. Definitely something for the season or Halloween parties. I definitely give it a thumb up. It's unique and different. I got wine all in my thumb. Please like and subscribe if you have not. I will see you next week and we only have a week left to Halloween. Have a good afternoon.